Hey everyone, Morgan here. So I wanted to talk today about uh, water storage and kind of the realities of how much water we do need to store. Um, you know, when it, we talk about water and water storage, you know, I don't think people quite grasp how much water we use on a daily basis. You know, when your water is freely flowing through the pipes, you use it without even thinking, you know, you'll just let it run, you know, especially like when you're brushing your teeth, doing the dishes, you know, taking showers, showers uses, use a ton of water. Um, actually, when I uh, lived in China for some time, um, the way that we took a shower was that we let uh, the, the hot water this little hot water, like three gallon thing fill up. And then I had to wait for it to heat up and then I could take a shower and whatever was in that little hot water thing, um, that three gallon thing was all I could use for water. That's essentially the same thing here in the RV as well. But I, I, I digress with that. Even so, um, you know, even though we have only, you know, a few gallons of water to use, you know, we are using the cold and hot water. You know, when you think about it, you're not just using the hot water, you know, you're using, um, cold water as well because we have you know a hot water heater that fills up and then it heats that water and then we are also using our cold water to you know mix the hot and cold right so our shower and dishes definitely took up the most amount of water but we used the full 80 gallon water tank in 10 days it lasted 10 days and we used it pretty freely you know we did conserve a lot and I have to remind you that we do have two dogs, we have two children that drink water and two adults that drink water. So we used our water for cooking, we used it for cleaning, we used it for drinking, and um, you know, we used it for our laundry, um, we used water for brushing our teeth, you know, we used water for everything. You know, um, we, like I said, we did try to conserve it as much as we possibly could. Um, but you know, we also kind of fragrantly use it as well. Now, however, when it did come to laundry, we actually did our off-grid laundry and we tried to use water that um, was from our Jeep. Like we have a bunch of water stored in our Jeep and we have a whole bunch of bottles of water as well, as well as gallons of water. So in addition to the 80 gallons that we used, we also drank a lot of bottled water, like a ton of bottled water. But going about our regular routine of washing our hands and using our water for cooking and cleaning and uh, taking showers and, um, you know, doing dishes and just drinking the water, we used 80 gallons. Plus, we also used about five I would, yeah, it's about five gallons of bottled water. Um, in addition to, I would say about probably five gallons that we have in the Jeep here that we use for laundry and such. So in addition, so total, I would say about 90 gallons of water we used in total in 10 days. So this brings up a really good point about water. You know, if we had a garden that needed water, you know, we would be using water for that as well, which I'm planning on doing gardening in the RV. But, you know, you have to really examine in your water and realize that two gallons a day may be fine you know when you're conserving water and you know this isn't even the middle of summer either so we weren't drinking as much water but if this was a middle of summer situation and we had no cooling um you know nowhere to stay cool and we were just out you know sweating and and doing whatever you know we would definitely need extra water for that as well extra water for all four of us plus our two dogs so like instead of taking showers you can um use the waterless soaps which i'll put a link down below uh, those are really great options you know you kind of have to think about camping mode you know if you do want to take a shower or a bath maybe take it every you know, four or five days and use that waterless soap in the meantime, right? So we actually don't have a water catchment system anymore. When it does rain, we throw out these buckets and we can use that for laundry, washing dishes. I mean, it's fine water. We can use it for anything, but that's what we've been using it for. Um, you know, when it rains, uh, you know, we don't have a, like a legit water catchment system anymore. You know, we could always have like a little funnel or something to help kind of collect water. You know, you use a tarp to, uh, you know, drip down into, you know, the water to get a little bit better you know, containment of water. It was definitely a big eye opener. You know, we can't store, you know, a bunch of bottles of water. You know, we have uh, bottles of water here under the bunk beds and that's that's pretty much it. You know, um, we don't, we can't store gallons of water except for in the Jeep. We can store gallons of water in our Jeep. 
um, and bottles of water. Uh, usually we store the water in containers, but we're using that water all the time. So the reality of storing water and using water and how much we use, um, you should really test it out and see how long, you know, your store water is going to last and, and what sort of nearby sources you can procure water from. And then what water purification methods do you have on you, um, in your house, car, RV, you know, everyday bag, whatever that you can use. Can you go by, can you go down to a nearby building and use your Silcock key to get, you know, water from the sides of buildings, um, water from, uh, parks, things like that. You know, where can you find water? So, and you know, we do drink a lot of water and we use it for cooking and everything, you know, water's life. We, we use water. People in general use water for everything. So anyway, um, I would love to hear if you guys have ever done any experiments with your water storage, collecting, you know, purifying all that. I do have some great videos down below in the description, uh, where you can learn more about, uh, collecting water, finding water, uh, purifying water, all that. Thank you all so much for watching Conquer Tomorrow by preparing today. Talk to y'all later. Bye.